What's good, y'all? It's DJ Queen Caesar here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go from vinyl to control vinyl, and also what that would look like if you had customized vinyl. Let's get into the video. So, I have my needles. I'm gonna put on my slip mats. <clears throat> and I'm gonna load up my vinyl. We have MC Light, cha cha cha. And we have another MC Light. Keep on keeping on. And marked with an appropriate sticker in the appropriate place. Before I put on my needles, I'm gonna make sure that both sides are put to phono mode. On my mixer, I have two USB ports. It could be USB A or USB B. And then I also have a line input, which is basically like an aux. And then the phono, which allows you to read the vinyl. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put the needle on the record and let the record play. Typically, I would do this in my headphones, but because this is a tutorial, I'm going to do everything out loud. I'm going to get the top of the track. So there it is. As this track is playing, I'm going to cue up the other MC Light track. where I want on the MC light track queued up and I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna take the other MC light track off. And I'm gonna put on my control vinyl. I'm gonna take the control vinyl now and change the mixer to USB-A, which is the port that is connected to Serato. I'm gonna queue up the top of the record and then I'm gonna bring it in. take MC light off and put on my customized vinyl. I'm gonna make sure that this side is turned back to USB A because we no longer are using real vinyl. So we're back into USB A mode. I'm gonna queue up the track and bring it in. And there you have it. That's how you go from vinyl to control vinyl to customize vinyl, which is basically the same thing as control vinyl. It's the same thing, just I have my logo on it. Thank you for watching.